Hi, welcome to Coffee Stories for Coffee Month 9. My name is Suyog, I'm one of the founders of Drift Away Coffee. This is Ian, our uh, green buyer and lead roaster, and Dave, our production roaster. We are tasting our fruity profile coffee for Coffee Month 9. This is a coffee from Tanzania, Tanzania, Kilimanjaro, Umbika North. Uh, we just brewed this on, a, on our Kalida, and let's have a taste. I always make coffee on the Kalida on Saturdays. And there's like an extra <laughs> amount of time. Day. Well, it's a little bit more time than like a normal day. You know, just you can take your time and you can brew it twice when you need more. Yeah, it's luxurious. Really good way to brew coffee too. I love the, the basket shape. Yeah. Makes a really good cup. Yeah. For, of any Flat port of it's very forgiving. Yep. Uh, yeah. you, you consistently get a good cup of coffee. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. This is so good. Yes, yeah, so it's really nice, right? Mm. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yep. Yeah. Mango, some mango. Yeah. Yep, definitely like tropical fruit. It's very bright, uh, rich, sweet, uh, and aromatic. Like, you get a lot of, of like fragrances uh, coming up from the, the steam and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's always a treat to get a Tanzanian coffee. Just because, like, it's not normal. You know, like you always hear about Ethiopia, you always hear about Kenya. You've started to hear a little bit more about Burundi and Rwanda when it comes to African origins. But Tanzania is still kind of unique. Mm -hmm. um, well, traditionally it's sort of the, the Tanzanian pea berry. <laughs> it's the, the one coffee that, we, that you would see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not usually anything that's selected for, um, you know, a micro lot or something that's a little bit more unique. It's just sort of this... this uh, big um, mixed lot of yeah. a lot of different coffees that are sorted for pea berries and that became sort of the popular thing. It's basically two, two coffee beans sort of stuck to each other but like not, not, not essentially stuck but like molded into one. So one cherry usually has two seeds uh, that you know separate whereas a pea berry is just one rounded seed. It's denser, it actually is more flavorful but it's a little confusing unless you use a scale because it can be, it, oh, it'll weigh more. Yeah. And then suddenly your ratios are off and then it tastes different. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, this is not a pea berry, which is actually kind of cool because you rarely get Tanzanian coffee in, in the US especially. Yeah. Um, so how do we find this? So we had a, a few Tanzanian coffees earlier this year right. with the, the larger harvest, which is from the southern part of the country. And this coffee comes from a harvest that's all the way on the northern border of the country near Mount Kilimanjaro um, and has its own unique microclimate and harvests on a completely different schedule than the other part of the country. It's close to Kenya, right? It's almost in Kenya. Yeah, it is. It's close to Kenya. So it, it's closer to the harvest schedule that Kenya would have. We right. saw Kenya's come mm -hmm. in within the last few months and this one is even later. It's really fun because we get a whole redo of Tanzania this year. You know, yeah. Fresh coffee coming in halfway through the year, um, and this coffee is really showing to be like like great coffee, I mean, the the best Tanzania we've had this year so far. Nice. Yeah. So that's our uh, fruity profile coffee for Coffee Month Nine: Tanzania, Kilimanjaro, Mvika, uh, North.